this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video, I'll give you access to the Google spreadsheet that I use to share expenses with friends and family, and I'll show you how I use it. So you definitely don't need a spreadsheet for a dinner out with friends, right? It's just the meal total divided by the number of people, and you can easily do that with a simple calculation. But what if you've gone away for a weekend with friends or you're traveling with family? Or if you decided to throw a party and are splitting the expenses with a group of friends? And what if different people have paid for different things and not everyone participated in every activity? Then it starts to get complicated, right? So I can't take total credit for this spreadsheet. I found it online and I modified it. But let me share with you how I use it. Here's the spreadsheet. You can find a link to it in the comments. And actually towards the end of this video, I'll show you how to copy it and modify it for your own use. So basically each expense gets its own line. On the left hand side, you'll see that you have columns for each paying party. It could be individual people, it could be families. And then on the right hand side, you have columns for each party again, this time showing how the expense was shared. So these actually copy directly over, so you only have to input them on the left hand side and they copy over to the right. So let me give you an example. Say my family is on a trip with my mom, my dad, and my brother's family. My mom and my dad are divorced, but obviously still on good terms since they vacation together. So they represent two different paying parties. My brother and I both have four people in our families, but we are still just one paying party each. So each paying party gets one column on the left and one column on the right. So Let's say I pay $100 for a meal and everyone was there, everybody ate. On the left hand side, the total amount goes under my family since I paid. Um, so then you're gonna skip over the parts in gray since they're calculated. And on the right, I'm gonna simplify this and I'm gonna divide the total into 10 parts, $10 a piece, which re represent each person and then distribute them into the shared columns. Four parts for my family, four parts for my brothers and one part each for my parents. So let's say my dad and my nephew were missing. Then it would be four parts for my family, three parts for my brothers, one part for my mom, and none for, the for my dad. You get the idea. So I do this by putting formulas into the spreadsheet, but you can do this on the back of an envelope if you prefer, and then just enter the straight figure. You can obviously make this more complicated by weighting the value for adults more than for the kids, but generally my family likes to keep things simple. So let me put in a couple of more lines. Uh, let's say my mom and my dad split the hotel rooms totaling $1,200. So that on the paying side is $600, $600 for each of them in their paying columns. But since each party had one hotel room, then that's a straight one part per party or $300 a piece. Uh, let's say my brother paid for tickets to a museum, which was a little more complicated since the kids' tickets were less than the adults and there was also senior pricing. So I actually have a separate sheet here dedicated to doing calculations just like this. Okay, and let's say, let's put in two more things. We're gonna put in two more $100 meals, one paid for by my dad, one paid for by me, and we'll just say all the parties ate. So that gives us five different expense lines. So here's a cool thing about the spreadsheet. There is an additional check to make sure that your calculations add up. So let's say I double counted a person or I added in too much by mistake. I'm gonna change this $40 amount to $50, which would be an error. So did you see that when I did that, that this column here went red? So that is a flag to check your calculations since they're not adding up. Okay, once you have all of your expense lines in, these orange rows will show you the totals of how much each party paid and also how much each party consumed. And just below that in aqua, is what everyone is owed and needs to pay. If the amount is negative, that means you have to pay that amount. If the amount is positive, that's the amount that you can expect to receive from others. So you're gonna have to do a tiny bit of brain work here to figure out the amounts and who pays for each payment, but it's pretty straightforward. In this example, I can pay my whole amount, $270, to my dad. But since that doesn't quite make him whole, he needs to receive $358, he's gonna receive a second check from my brother for the remainder, or $88. Then my brother owes my mom his remainder, or $258. So you can add these together and make sure that it comes to the same amount as the total of the positive amounts here. 
So a couple of things. This spreadsheet can expand to accommodate up to eight parties. You just have to hit this arrow to show hidden rows um, here on the left. I'm sorry, hidden columns here on the left and again here on the right. So I've made this example a sample sheet um, so that you can refer to this if you get confused about where everything goes. And whenever I do one of these sheets, I make a copy of the whole spreadsheet and start a brand new document. That way I can send it out to the group for verification and use it as backup documentation without sharing private historical information from previous sheets. Also, I really encourage people to use PayPal or another instant payment method, but some folks are still old school and prefer checks. That's fine, it just may take some follow-up to get full reimbursement for everyone. So I'm gonna make this available on my Marble Jar Google Drive. It is not editable. You can see it says view only right here. So once you open it using the link, you'll need to make a copy to use it for your own purposes. So go to file, then make a copy, and then you're gonna rename it whatever you want and hit okay to save it to your own Google Drive. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.